Hey guys, Casey Ferris here. Thanks for checking out another video of mine here on YouTube. Today we are talking about color grading cine style footage. Specifically, specifically a couple of tips and techniques for a shot that has a little bit of a wide dynamic range. That means there's a lot of bright parts and a lot of dark parts in the same image. So you have an image, it's shot in cine style, so you use a cine style LUT, and we'll just put it on like that. And it gives you a good starting point, but there's a problem. The sky starts to be blown out, these colors start to be a little bit too dark, and of course our subject here is pretty dark also. At this point you could say a couple things. You could say, man, this LUT doesn't work, or oh, this shot doesn't work, but actually everything's okay. All you really need to do is tweak this a little bit. So what I'm going to do is label this LUT, and I'm going to move this to the right, and I'm going to add a serial node right before this node in Resolve by hitting Shift S. And this is gonna be our tweaks. Anybody who's watched my videos knows this is pretty much how I do everything. I'll do adjustments in one node and then run it through the LUT to do the bulk of the grading for me. So what I'm gonna do is bring down my gain a little bit. I'm just gonna roll down on my gain wheel until I start to see some of this information come back here in my scopes. And yeah, something like that. And there we have that nice, beautiful sunset. And I can go over to my lift and I'll boost that up just a little bit. And now the top and bottom of our image looks pretty good. I'll also say this could probably do for some more saturation. If we check over to our vector scope, things are still at a decent level. I'm gonna just boost that a little bit just to bring some warmth to that sun. So now what do we do? The darkest and lightest parts of our image are looking pretty good. And so what I'm gonna do is just boost up my gamma a little bit and start with that. And that's gonna bring a lot of that detail back here in the middle. I'm gonna switch back over to my parade and you'll see because I boosted the gamma, it's pushing that white in the sky up a little more. So I'm gonna bring the gain down and you're just kind of pushing and pulling things around until it starts looking a little better. So this is a pretty good starting point and it looks okay how it is. You could probably call it like that, but I think what I'll do is make a new node and I'll call it curve. And what I'm gonna do here is adjust my custom curve just looking at our subject here. I'm not worrying about the rocks, not worrying about the sky, because we're gonna limit this in just a minute. So I'm gonna start by boosting up the higher parts of the midtones and taking down the lower parts of the midtones. So we're bringing him up a little bit more. Let's see what it looks before and after. It's really boosting a lot of this image up that doesn't need to be boosted though. So again, we could try to adjust for that by messing with the curve up here, but that's not, and get a pretty good looking result just by doing some detailed work in the curve. Here's before, here's after. The thing is though, I really like that richness of this sunset, which is going to be around the same tone as this guy so how do we do both? The answer is to take this little curve, which I think I'll get rid of these points just for safety, and apply it just to this subject. You could probably do this in a few different ways, but since this shot is pretty simple, I think I can get away with just making a rough window here. So what I'm gonna do is go to my Windows panel, and here this little curve, I'm grab that and draw a custom shape around my guy. And I'm gonna make this pretty soft, so I'm not too worried about getting it exact. Something like that. And I'm gonna hit Alt-T to track this backwards. Luckily, he doesn't move around a lot, so it's not that big a deal. I'm gonna move this stuff so it's definitely on the inside of him. Because the one thing I don't wanna do is have a little halo around him like that because that will look really bad. Now that I've adjusted that a little bit under softness, I'm gonna push the inside in quite a bit so that this just kind of fades in really gradually to just bring a little bit more detail here to our subject, just so he's not so dark. So let's look at it this way. And if we move back and forth, we shouldn't be able to see anything weird about this. Nothing should stick out. We shouldn't see any lines or halos or anything like that on what we've done. 
And because it's so soft, like I said, you can get away with a lot just by having a really soft window. And check this out, this is the difference. Here's before and here's after. And if you turn it on quickly, you can see that there's a little shape here, but you'd never notice it in real life. You'd never notice that. If you do feel like you're a little bit paranoid, you can always soften it a little more. It also helps to kind of fit the curves of, uh, of his legs and clothes and everything so that it looks really natural. But you really don't have to get that detailed to sell the effect because it's so soft. There we go. It just looks like he's lit from this side instead of just being overly dark. And the cool thing is, because we used our CineStyle LUT, we can replace this LUT with any look that we have from one of our CineStyle packs, and everything should look really nice. And we can try out a bunch of different styles here. There's a nice warm LUT called Callista. It's a nice looking shot. If you guys shoot CineStyle and you're interested in a pack of filmic looks for your camera, you can go to groundcontrolcolor.com under color grading LUTs, click Canon LUTs, and we have two packages here. Our newest one is Victory 2, and those have all the looks that we've been going through here in this tutorial. And it's designed to make your Canon footage look nice without a lot of work, save you some time in grading if you shot in Technicolor CineStyle on a Canon. We also have similar packs available for Sony, for GoPro, for DJI drones, for Panasonic, for Blackmagic, and a ton of free LUTs, including the one that we did our initial grade with, which is our free CineStyle 2 Rec 709 LUT. Those are available right now at groundcontrolcolor.com, so make sure to check them out. Anyway, there you go. There's some tips on color grading a wide dynamic range shot. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you like this, hit like. And for more tutorials on color grading, post-production, all those type of things, make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. My name again is Casey Ferris. I will catch you next time.